Last time on Sailing Rum Punch, we cracked on with removing the water tanks and taking out the majority of the saloon. And we unveiled quite a large issue with one of our chain plates. Not very happy at all. We'll have to deal with that at a later date. For now, enjoy more demolishing as we get into the dusty part and take a small break to get out on the water. Good morning. Hi. It's day three of our lovely week off. So this morning we are going to get rid of all of the wood we've taken out of the boat. Hopefully, this is day three of saying we're going to get to the bilge and clean it. So hopefully that will be our, we will get there today. Yeah. We've got our coffees. We are ready to go. See you there. Recycling centre. Oh gosh. We're off to recycling centre. We've got all the wood from the saloon that is going to free up a lot of room. We have got rid of the wood. But while we were there, we thought we'd stop by um, some DIY stores and pick up some supplies as well. So we've got a new grinder with a backing disc and some random sanding pads to test out which one's going to work really well because we've got a lot of fiberglass to grind out. I just realised I'm wearing these glasses, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I forgot to bring Sunny, it's really bright today, so Ellie's wearing her novelty John Lennon glasses. These are my Beatles glasses. They're so great. You need them as well. I've got my pair. <laughs> Rocking them. Best buy Oh, ever. yeah. I'm going to need to eat something because I'm starving. I haven't worked hard enough for the food yet. I need another coffee, that's what I need. Oh yeah, do you want to pea breeze? Yes! The next job on my list is to cut away the wood that was the side of the bunks in the saloon. We're going to extend the floor all the way across and tab it to the hull, so I need to cut those right down to floor level so that we can see how far we can come to the hull. I've been working with these multi-tool bits for a few days and I've gone through about, I'm on my fourth now I think. I mean, I went for the cheap ones and as you can see, this is how they start and then this is how they end up after just half a day's use. So I think we might have to at some point spend a little bit of money and get some good multi-tool bits but for now this is what we've got so this is what we'll carry on with. Now I've got my sharpie mark drawn in, it's time to start cutting. So I've scored the line across, so now I'm going to go through and complete the cut. This time I remember to put my goggles down before I start work.
I'm swimming in. <laughs> Stand still. Oh wow. Yeah. Are you really close on my face? No. You're a beep. <laughs> You're so pretty. Are we all enjoying these dents in my head? From the eye goggles. Oh, and the some eye goggles. The eye goggles. <laughs> and some mascara. Oh, sweaty work. Ben has done a serious job here. How do you feel? Nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> What happens when you drop a screwdriver down the uh, bilge? We need it to do this anyway, so it's just more bail. We love to bail. That's it. We clearly love to bail. The only thing is it's now almost 6 pm and the sun is going down very quickly. <laughs> and we're losing light very quickly. And this bucket is getting very full very quickly, so... Hello? Yay! Hey, lovely. <laughs> Missing screwdriver. Oh, oh dear. Man challenge. <laughs> oh my god, I said I went you went. Where did it go? I went. Did that with my hand? Oh. That's not what? That's not how you high five. Try again. <laughs> Christ. So yesterday we managed to get uh, to the point where we were cleaning the build very slightly just getting all the big pieces of grime off um so hopefully we can just kind of start to sand it if it's all dry we can start sanding it and i think it'll take all day actually the plan is if we're lucky we can actually go sailing this afternoon on my brother's boat but it is thunderstormy and no wind which is i think probably the opposite of sailing mm. weather but Did you say so we've not seen um his boat yet, so it'll be really exciting to go and see that and spend some time on her and go and see all the projects that he wants to do on her over the winter, so that'll be fun.
I'm on my own today as Ellie is in London going to Fortnum and Mason for some afternoon tea with her mum. Uh, it's a gift that I got her for her birthday and I was kind of hoping that she'd use it on a day when I had like some fun plans to go to as well. But instead it's fallen on a day of boat work which is very good for her. On my agenda today I've got to put a temporary floor down so that we can safely work against the hull. We've got to grind out fiberglass and sand down some paint um, so that we can put a nice fresh coat on. I might have to do some fairing before putting some paint down, but we will see what the damage is once I've got all the fiberglass off. That's my jobs for today, whereas I bet Ellie is in London having a lovely time. Right, first things first, let's sort this floor out. So one thing we were struggling with yesterday was having somewhere to stand while sanding and grinding. So I picked up some scrap plywood and some two by one that I'm going to quickly just knock up a temporary flooring um, so we can use this platform in the gap and then I can put the other flooring back down. So at least we've got a stable work surface and not slip down this little ski slope while we're trying to grind and sand, which was just a bit dangerous. Now I've got my platform in place, I can start cutting, grinding and sanding. I'm using the grinder with the sander attachment. Um, it's like a flappy disc. Um, I know people say that they prefer using a backing pad and some sandpaper. I do have a backing pad. I am finding that the flappy disc is gumming up like everyone else has said they would, but um, it's all I have right now. The best thing about using a grinder is it gets rid of a lot of material very quickly. You do have to be careful. I think I've gone a little bit too deep on these sections over here. There's a couple of dark patches where I think I've gone a bit too deep, so I'm gonna have to go back and sort that out. lovely time in London yesterday and got a lot done so I'm about to go see what he achieved yesterday he said it's very dusty and I'm going to be very mad at him so <laughs> let's see you're about to show me what we did yesterday I'm about to show you what I achieved yesterday while you're having afternoon tea in London <laughs> if you're ready the first thing he said was that I would be very mad at him so let's see how mad I get <laughs> Very careful on the dust management side of things. Oh dear. From that dust, I'm a bit nervous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. How's everything so coated? A lot of dust. That is white. That looks like it's been painted. That's dust. Oh, you got some floodlights though. Yeah, we've got some lighting so we can work late. <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness. It's so bright as well. Mast is coming down next week, so we really need to prep for that as well. I need to take the boom off, we need to take the anchor off. Just give me a fun one. Okay, let's do this. This is absolutely just crazy. everything out of the cockpit into the cockpit though so soon I'm gonna be hoovering a lot of this doing a half day on the boat today. It was Charlie, my brother's dog's birthday on Tuesday and all of his litter are meeting up and having a little birthday play. There's no amount of boat work that's going to stop us going and seeing a bunch of collies go play around the field together. 
So that's going to be a load of fun, so we're looking forward to that. Um, you can probably hear the hoover down below. That is Ellie hoovering up all the mess I made yesterday with all the uh, fiberglass dust that is currently itching every single square millimetre of my body. And uh, we are just cleaning up the mess and blowing everything out. We've got everything out of the boat and into the cockpit. It actually feels so big. It's absolutely crazy. We're very tempted just to box everything up and leave it off the boat while we work on it. Um, it's just storage is an issue for us at the moment. We are getting the mast taken down next week, so we're having to undo everything we possibly can so that when they bring the crane over they can just bring it out and it's all going to go smoothly and we're not going to be here either, so we're prepping for that. So what we've done here is we've put a bit of tape on the thread of the turnbuckle. It's a reference for us so that we know where it should come to when we put them back in. Um, when we do get it back in we are going to get a rigger to check it over and service it and everything. It's just for us a little little tip, shall we say? Um, a reference, you might. Say. Sorry. A reference. A reference. A little reference for us. Um, and then we've got our own little code that Ben has come up with. So we have P A, P M, and P F. And over there is going to be S A, S M, and S F. We have port aft, port middle, and port forward. Save some time when the guys take the mast down I'm going to go around and take all the split pins out the bottom of the turnbuckles so all they have to do is loosen the turnbuckles and then loosen the shrouds and then the whole mast can come down nice and easy the more work I do now the less work they have to do the less we have to pay that's the dream less money save the costs wherever we can exactly we managed to take both the anchor and the boom off ready for the mast to be taken down success and we managed to make it to Charlie's birthday with only a few specks of fiberglass dust. Thanks for watching another episode of Sailing Run Punch. If you've enjoyed, how about clicking that subscribe button or leaving a comment and catch us next week when we continue to get pretty dusty.